This episode of Rolling Tape is brought to you by Suspense with a Camera, a filmmaker's guide to Hitchcock's techniques. Available in bookstores now. Today on Rolling Tape, Salva Rubio joins us. He's the author of Save the Cat Goes to the Indies, a screenwriter's guide to 50 films from the masters. He worked for 10 years in Spain's foremost independent distribution, exhibition, and production company, Alta Films. He's a professional writer and a graphic novel writer. Thanks for joining me, Salva, and welcome to Rolling Tape. Thanks for having me, Forrest. Let's talk about your book, um, Save the Cat Goes to the Indies. Um, let's talk about how Blake Snyder's methodology works and, and, and how you chose the movies that you uh, did in the book. Okay. Uh, well, F Blake's methodology is based on what we know usually is the Save the Cat method. The Save the Cat series of books, they are four books. Uh, so uh, in the first book, I think it was released in 2007. So uh, Blake laid the foundation of, of his work, which at that time, it was the Blake Schneider bit sheet, which is uh, uh, a bit sheet, obviously, in which you have to fill uh, 15 bits or points to uh, correctly structure your screenplay. So it's uh, uh, detailed enough to make it really useful, but it's simple enough to make it really fast. Uh, back in the day, when I was considering becoming a, a professional screenwriter, I discovered this method and it blew my mind because it was so easy and so uh, perfect for everyday work. Uh, then Blake released another book in which he developed another of his uh, landmark um, well, work, which is uh, The Generous. Uh, in that book, he analyzed 50 movies, uh, mainstream films, basically, in which uh, they were divided in uh, 50, obviously 50 films, uh, 10 films, and oh, sorry, five films each chapter. Um, it's really useful. So at some point, uh, I met Blake. I took his seminar. For a time, we changed theories. And uh, as you all know, he, he passed away so soon. So for a, a long time, there has been no new books. He, he released three. But then at some point, I realized that maybe I could offer something new. Because I used to work as a film analyst in a, a production company in Europe. So my, my trade, my craft was analyzing European auteur and uh, cult films, basically. So uh, I proposed to Save the Cat Press, to the editor of the book, how about we show that the Save the Cat method is not good only for mainstream films, but also for another kind of films, for, for indie films. He agreed, and thus uh, we, uh, I ended up writing this book, uh, which is called Save the Cat, Goes to the Indies. And how did you choose the movies that you're going to use? You and I were talking about... Um, the Big Lebowski is in there, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Are these movies yes. that you liked, or did you um, just kind of go as you went along to select movies? I was lucky enough to uh, choose the films I love, <laughs> not <laughs> only I like. I'm a big fan of the movies from the 90s, some of the 80s, uh, but obviously in the 90s, uh, I discovered cinema, I discovered independent cinema, so I had uh, a really long list of films I wanted to analyze, and the editor let me choose most of them. Sometimes uh, maybe some films were very famous in Europe, not so famous in the US, so we had to make some changes. But as a, for example, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre was one of the first I decided this film is so good, I have to, to understand how it's done, so I wanted to, to do the analysis. And it fits right into the Blake Snyder um, methodology. I, um, it's just amazing how it fits right in to it. Uh, yes. Do you ever, did you come across any films that didn't fit into it? Um, I mean, if you, um, if you like the independent realm, if you like independent films, you will find many films that don't fit because in independent film, uh, what you're supposed to do sometimes is to experiment. I mean, you can go full outer, you know, and you can be really uh, 
experimental. So uh, in, in those kinds of films, having a normal, classic, common um, structure is not the goal. But I really think that if an independent film has had a great success, like uh, The Full Monty, like Reservoir Dogs, like Camoli, like uh, I don't know, Impossible, Lost in Translation, um, I really think that they are successful because they are written uh, with a classic structure in mind, and thus they fit the, the Blake Snyder methodology. So you see it's a two-side question. You can go to films that are really so artistic and so difficult to understand that they won't fit any kind of a structure, but any, because that's the goal of the filmmakers. But if we think about which independent films like Little Miss Sunshine have made an impression in our world, they sure fit it. What What would you uh, tell to a screenwriter, an up and coming screenwriter, um, how to approach their script? Would you say definitely dive into the Blake Snyder books or uh, just kind of experiment as you go and then you know you know what i mean like if you've already started writing a screenplay you know okay. can they go back and fit it into this i guess that's yeah. where i'm going with this yeah 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 i think that because there are four books five if you count uh, a compilation of blake's uh, uh, blog entries uh every one of them is pretty much uh complementary to the other but they stand on their own so, for example, if you are a screenwriter that wants to understand better this method from the mainstream point of view, then you should check Save the Cat Goes to the Movies, which is the second book, because there you will find many mainstream films. And if you're a student and you're fascinated by the European indie world, then this last book, Save the Cat Goes to the Indies, that could be the obvious choice. Uh, that's if you uh, have an analytical mind. I mean, if you really like to see how other people did it, which is <laughs> how I like it. Um, but if not, you can always go to the first book, Save the Cat, and then just uh, check the theory um, on your own. And you will find stuff that will be helpful. And then there is the third book, Save the Cat Strikes Back, which he, I would call a perfectioning book, you know? Uh, you would read that to fine tune your abilities. Is this your first book that you've written? No. Uh, as a novelist, I've written three books. As an essayist, I've written two. Uh, as a comic book writer, I've written another two. And uh, yes, uh, well, as a filmmaker, my first film as a co-screenwriter premieres this year. It's an animation feature. And I am in talks for my second feature, which I may co-write. We are right now in talks. But what I can say is that for every one of these uh, titles, for every one of these books, I have used in one measure of another Blake's uh, techniques because they work for graphic novel, they work for novel, they work for cinema. I think it's just for good storytelling. Uh, do you see yourself uh, writing another Save the Cat book? Well, I wish. I mean, <laughs> I would really have fun and maybe analyzing even more films. Uh, but only time will tell. Right now, this book was released um, early a month ago. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. Yeah, we'll how see how it like goes. <laughs> Solve this. Somebody wants to get a hold of you. How can they do that? Okay. Uh, I would first recommend them to visit savethecat.com, which is the official um, site. And if they want to get a, a, a grasp of the book, they can download uh, for now, two uh, full beat sheets. One of them is for The Big Lebowski, uh, which is a very funny, uh, great film by the Coen brothers. And the other is Boogie Night uh, by Paul Thomas Anderson, which is another great uh, story. I really loved uh, analyzing that. And if they are curious about me and my work, I am at salvarubio.info. That uh, there they have all, all the they can possibly think of. Okay, Salva, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks to you, and I hope you like the book. <laughs>